Welcome to the Chimpanshu Chimpanzee Refuge. Chimpanzees have long excited human attention because of their similarities to humans. Chimpanzees came to world attention when the U.S. government trained 60 beginning in 1959 for the United States space program. The first chimpanzee to go into space was Ham. Born in 1956, he was on board a Mercury Redstone rocket which blasted off in 1961. The flight was only 16 minutes but proved that chimpanzees and humans alike could operate in space. Ham performed a variety of activities in space which he performed almost as well as he did on Earth. This information was the lead directly to a manned spaceflight. Ham returned safely in a space capsule to Earth by parachute and was recovered in the ocean. This pioneer in the space program lived out the rest of his life in zoos and died in 1983. Unfortunately, many chimpanzees are not so fortunate. There is a strong inclination to try to humanize them by dressing them up and training them in skills such as driving motor vehicles or riding bicycles. Chimpanzees are frequently exploited in the entertainment industry. Chimpanzee provides a refuge for injured or exploited chimpanzees from all over the world. Welcome to the orphanage. Here it is on the orphanage where we're building up our family groups and where we're keeping the rough ones. Here on the orphanage is where everything started. We've got uh, 22 chimps, which you see in cages or by the fence. And then we've got one hippo. We've got chickens, dogs, peacocks, turkeys, geese, and talking beds. And uh, this is a group of uh, 13 chimps from all over the world. As I said, you see chimps by the fence or in cages, which are all from all over the world. It is a group of uh, youngsters, and then uh, by the end of the day, then we'll be moved to the other side. The refuge, the refuge <laughs> began almost accidentally in 1983 with the work of David and Sheila Siddle. <laughs> Toto is a very odd chimp in this camp. He came from Chile, South America, and he was belong to the circus. The circus bought him when he was younger, and they had him in the circus for 26 years. Toto was in cigarette, he was in beer, clothes to entertain the visitors. And then the animal defender heard about Toto, that they had him for so long. They confiscated Toto, and then they brought him here in 2003. Although the uh, cage is still contaminated, the chimpanzees are free to leave and go outside to be fed. They return to the cages of their own free will every night. Chimpanzee is a sanctuary we keep these guys natural like in the wild. Some of the chimpanzee from the circus and then some of the chimpanzee from the pet. You have a lot of things what entertainment people there and the people cheat them. But at Chimpanzee we doesn't cheat anything because it's a sanctuary we keep them like natural in the bush. And then a lot of chimpanzee what we have is from Congo. <laughs> Where they are in the five acres, and uh, most of the chimps here on the orphanage, they're more humanized. So if the sun is going down, they all dash in to sleep. 
When the sun is coming up, then it's time to running around. Chimfanchi is about a day's drive from the capital city of Lusaka. <laughs> They're the largest enclosures in the world. I mean, there's nothing even near comparable size. They've been able to form social groups. <laughs> the refuge is a natural woodland near the city of Nagoda. They were only trust the whites. So we keep us to feed them, they were just making the funny noise. But now they've been here for six years. Alice trusts me, but Cindy trusts my other colleagues. So my other colleagues to feed Alice, it has to be like one meter away because we get them in cages so that we feed them individual. And that's Cindy who's screaming. Yes. She wants to fight with Corinne. I think Corinne has done something to her and uh, she's not happy about it. <laughs> Control to every female who've had the baby before so that the number will remain the same. So those who've got implant, they don't even come to the East Rest. Okay. But uh, one of our friend of Chimpunzi, he had about uh, three chimps. He confiscated them and he brought them here. When they came here at Chimpunzi, Hans was being found with one eye. We think when the poachers were killing his mother, something was damaged the eye. So that's when Hans was end up with one eye. And he does cops with one eye. And then there's this Madonna. She also only go one eye. Okay. Madonna came from Saudi Arabia and she was belong to the family. The family bought Madonna when she was a baby and they had Madonna in the house when she was a baby baby. Madonna was in the house and she was rough to the owner. So the owner thought uh, to make Madonna to be blind with one eye, if it would have uh, make Madonna to be gentle, but Madonna was just rough because she couldn't understand why the owner did that. And then the owner was just tired with her and then Madonna was being brought here. And then as I said, Madonna made uh, Toto to be a chimp. And then that's Dominic there, the one being groomed. Madonna is, I mean, Dominic is my namesake. <laughs> Dominic is being born here at Chimfunsi. He was born to the enclosures, which is to the other side. And uh, after five months, uh, Dominic was very sick. He was battling with flu. So we thought, uh, leave Dominic to his mother if he would have uh, died. We had to move the little man when he was in the house for a week. And then uh, we were treating him honey and the garlic and also tiger balm until he was fine. We tried to take the little man Dominic to his mom. His mom couldn't accept him. And then uh, Dominic was just end up uh, in the house with Auntie Sylvia, who's the daughter of the founder. And uh, he was in diapers for a year. After a year, we do get the chimps in for feeding so that we feed them individual and uh, we used to putting Dominic in with the others uh, just for kindergarten and we did find Dominic was interested to be with the others and the others did accept him and as you can see Dominic is in doing grade one now. This is the chimpanzees and then every chimpanzee at Chimfunshi is supposed to have a name. And then if she come, if she doesn't have the name, we take their name from the owner who brought the chimp to this side and give it to the chimp. So this one to the right side, I name is Bobby. And then he's close to 35 years old. And then she have two children. Uh, the first born, I name is Bassi, it's a guy. And then this is the second born, I name is Brucey.
In Congo, there's big forest, they call it old forest. So that forest, the people go in that forest and kill the chimpanzees. And then from that, it's supposed to take the baby and travel in South Africa. Because I can say by now in Africa, South Africa, there's a lot of people of rich people who have a lot of money. So when you take the baby, you're supposed to go and sell it that baby as a pet or in the zoos or in the circus. So after from that, in South Africa, there's one government called GHL. That government, when she found out she have somebody, the chimp as a pet or in the zoos and keep it in bad condition, and then those conditions like give it the alcohol to the chimps and then give it the smoking, that's bad to them. So those companies are supposed to brought the, that chimp this side, and then this side we doesn't sell it or we doesn't buy, we just keep them. <laughs> Then female chimpanzee is supposed to have the babies when she is eight years above. And then when she has the pregnant, she's supposed to carry that pregnant same like a human being, nine months. Then she has a new baby. And then the baby for the chimpanzee is supposed to sucking to the mother close to four years. That four years is meaning that baby grow up, he can enjoy himself. And then the problem, the chimpanzee doesn't carry the food much to the baby. You can give it a lot of biscuit to the mother, it's supposed to run away from the baby. When it's done, then he can come back to take the baby. So that's why the baby take it advantage to sucking four years. After that four years, when the chimpanzee close to five years, it's supposed to be pregnant because that baby is close to five years and then he can have more children. And then apart from that, the chimpanzee thinking capacity like a human being. As the human being we thinking 99% and then the chimpanzee thinking 97%. So all of We've got a group of chimpanzees where 12 kilometers away from here and there are 100 chimps there. And there are two enclosures which are 500 acres, and then the other two, they are 250 acres. Our idea, it is uh, to release the chimps back into the world. But here in Zambia, there are no places where we can release them free. And also, if we take them back to the Congo, then they will be poached again. So with us as chimpunzi, to put 20 or 30 chimps into a 500 acre, it is like to release them back into the world. Chimpanzee is the subject of many newspaper articles in a wide variety of languages all around the world. A number of American universities send their students to Zambia to study chimpanzees at Chimfungi for a period of a month as part of their course. Other students volunteer to come for a week or two weeks to help out around the farm. One such volunteer is Nairi Barrett from Perth, daughter of a friend of mine. The Siddos have raised the baby hippopotamus called Billy that wanders freely around the farm. Thanks for joining me on this visit to Chimpanzee Chimpanzee Refuge.